Everybody, this is Ryan Casey 9 oza with the Clay County Area Amateur Radio Club. Uh, today I was just going to talk about the ICOM 9700. Uh, if you're an owner of the ICOM 7300 like I am, it's a very easy feature-packed radio SDR. I love it. I've upgraded to it from the my previously used ICOM 706 MK2G which was also a really good radio but I wanted to experiment with some of the new digital modes without having to have a bunch of extra cables and mess so I upgraded to a 7300 and found out about the ICOM 9700 here a while back really not a whole lot of information out there yet as of when it's going to come out uh, here's just a small clip of it. It looks identical except for a few labels on the buttons to the 7300 which ICOM has on their website at icomamerica.com you go to amateur tab and you can bring up their base stations and it shows up here the neat thing about this and I wish more radios had this is it is a all mode radio so you can do not only FM but you can also do AM sideband as well as the digital data um, it covers 2 meter 440 and 1.2 gigs or 1200 megahertz the only thing I would have liked to see myself is 220 I'd really like to play with 220 I know some people not too far away from me that play on 220 and they seem to like it uh, 1.2 gigs wouldn't really do me any good where I'm at but uh I'd really like to see 220 come back in some of these newer radios because you just don't see that too much anymore I know there are a few of the Chinese manufacturers such as Baofeng that have some radios that do 220 I wish some of the big names like ICOM and Yezu and the others would kinda get on that bandwagon but uh so you, your PA will provide 100 watts on 2 meters, 75 on 440, and 10 watts on 1.2 gigahertz. You'll have the same 4.3 inch touchscreen LCD as you do with the 7300, which is nice. You'll be able to operate, operate satellite. Um, which is another thing I'd like to try out you also will have the D-Star capable communications um, I haven't really messed with D-Star there's not any repeaters around but since I have a few hotspots I'd like to give it a shot um, if you want to in the comments leave me a comment of what a good starter inexpensive either handheld or mobile D-Star radio is. I'd like to get into D-Star. Right now I'm only Fusion and DMR and NXDN. But you go to the brochure here and it'll bring up. Got the nice display and uh, one thing I like about my 7300 and it would be very nice on this as well working sideband is you have your waterfall down here and I always thought it was a hassle to have to scan through the bands but here it makes it nice because you could, would be able to see people out there so instead of sitting here on one part of the spectrum waiting to hear somebody you can actually click here on your waterfall and it'll take you right to it so uh, as we talked about it's all mode 100 watts 75 watts 10 watts 
touch screen display it does have the dual watch which is very nice uh, so you could listen to your local repeater on the top VFO and possibly be working sideband on the other now I'm not sure if it would let you say do two meter on both VFOs at the same time or if you have to have dual uh, for the dual to work to have different bands um, provides digital data mode up to 128 kilobytes uh, it covers one in the US here it covers 144 to 148 430 through 450 1240 through 1300 here's your modes sideband CW RTTY AM FM DV DD uh, 107 channels 99 simplex plus 6 programming 3 bands um, of course 13.8 volts and antenna connectors you'll see that it lists 3 here so if we scroll down here you have your 2 meter which looks to be a SO239 style and then you have your 440 and 1.2 gigs which are in connectors so that's nice you also have here your LAN port so I'm not sure if that's gonna be for I'm gonna assume the D star function apparently like I said I'm not haven't been able to operate D star so I'm sure that has to do with that part of it I don't know if you'll be able to maybe use this radio kinda like a hot spot possibly but uh, looks to be like a nice radio here I'm not sure on what the price will be I know the 7300s whenever they came out they was about 1500 I got mine once they come down around a thousand ish uh, so I'm gonna assume this is gonna be probably in the 1500 to maybe $1,800 price range somewhere in there and I know some of the your favorite places like gigaparts you can reserve it now it's $35 refundable deposit so you get your place in line um, if you decide you don't want it it says about they will refund you and as here it tells you kind of a little bit of the data here and get in line risk-free also DX engineering has your reservations so theirs is fifty dollars and uh, it says it will ship today but I don't think that's gonna happen so uh, let me know what you guys think of the 9700 um, like I said I'd love to get into the sideband 2 meter 440 portion um, I played around with it a little bit on my 706 liked it I think it would these newer radios that will do this will help get uh, that portion of the hobby that is sometimes forgotten uh, back in the mainstream like I said the only thing I wish this radio had would be 220 um, I wish there was just more 220 radios out there by the big three that were available to the consumers um, like they were back in the olden days there's not really a whole lot of radios out there right now for that but uh, other than that it looks like it'll be a good solid radio you have your choice of hand microphone or desktop power supply audio external speaker it looks like you will also be able to IP remote access this as you're on the go and it looks like they also will have a app for Android as well so uh, 
hope you enjoyed this little video um, it uh, looks like it'll be a promising rig I'm waiting to see what it holds and uh, I'll put any any new information I find out about it I'll let you guys know and uh, we'll say 73's this is KC9 OZA